All right, so finally going to end it up on uh, some good pro good nice tough problems here. So again, whenever we're looking at logarithms, you know, again, we want to say it out loud and, and kind of look into you know what it's going to exactly be. Um, but if I have log base of 36 of 216, again, what I'm trying to determine is 36 raised to what power equals 216. Now, I'm not even going to get into the crazy numbers here, um, but I obviously know that you know 36. 36 to the first power just equals 36. 36 squared is going to be a really big number, much larger than 216. Um, I could probably get into 36 to the negative first is going to be 1 over 36. And if I did 36 to the negative second, it's going to be 1 over 36 squared. And that's going to be a very, very small number getting very, very close to 0. So it's not getting me anywhere really near 216. So the next thing I can start looking into is fractions. You know, What could I raise 36? What type of fraction could I raise it to? That'd give me 216. Well, rather than trying to just do guess and check, you know, 2 thirds, 3 fourths, 5 eighths, rather than doing guess and check, let's go and take what I've written out there. Because remember, log base 36 to 216 says 36 raised to what power equals 216? So now I can start looking at my um, one to one property of exponents and say, all right, if I have 36 and 216, can I rewrite those with the exact same base? Can I write them as base 2 raised to a power? What about base 3 raised to a power? base 4 raised to a power. And when looking at this, um, I know that base 2 is not going to work. Base 3 is not going to work. Base 4 is not going to work. But base 5 is not going to work. But base 6, I can rewrite 36 as 6 squared. And then when I go and check my mental calculator, 6 to the third power is 216. Therefore, property is excellent. That's going to be 2x equals 6 cubed. Then I now apply my 1 to 1 property. So I have 2x is equal to 3 divided by 2 divided by 2. x equals 3 halves. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate a log with no calculator. Thanks.